Morning everyone, uh, welcome back to uh, Cooking on Lockdown with Dave and Mia. Um, so we popped a post on the group yesterday afternoon after our first video, which has had a great response, so thank you very much. And today's winner um, was Pizza, pizza Pizzas. pizzas. Um, they're really, really simple, really, really easy. It's stuff that you can grab at the supermarket. Um, it's minimal prep time. Just uh, small shops. Small shops. Really, really good for a quick bite to eat for lunch, or it can make up part of a dinner um, with a, a side salad, or you can make some uh, garlic bread, which is really simple. Um, so we're just gonna talk you through everything that we've got here, and just show you how to put them together, and then we'll show you the end product. Really, really simple, really I'm really gonna easy. talk you through the herbs. <laughs> so, um, this is just stuff that we've got to hand at home, so it's whatever vegetables you really wanna put on there. So we've got red pepper, we've got red onion, we've got courgette, We've got mushrooms, we've got some uh, breaded sliced ham, we have some mozzarella uh, cheese. fresh mozzarella cheese, it was a mozzarella ball, and then we've just got some grated cheddar, um, who doesn't love a bit of cheese? And then, and then we've got some tomato. Tomato away. sauce, so um, for this part on the pizza, if you've got a uh, passata in the cupboard, which is basically blitz tomatoes, that's fine. Um, tomato puree works cheese. just as well. I popped out yesterday to buy tomato puree because um, I was shown this by an old sous chef on our previous job, Gary. Um, we used to just whack on a bit of tomato puree to make uh, make life easy, but the shops are out of tomato puree. So good old Lloyd Grossman stepped in with a tomato and basil sauce. So um, this is what we're gonna use to just cover our pizzas. It's you know, really, really simple. Um, tin tomatoes will work fine. Um, if you don't like tomatoes, you can use pesto. Um, or don't put any sauce on the bottom but at all. But if you have big chunks of tomato, you have to use one of the mash, how you make mashed potatoes and just push you it You can mash them up, yeah. So really, really simple, this one. I'm gonna talk you through this. So uh, we got some wholemeal pizza bread. So um, obviously the wholemeal factors are a bit healthier. So we're just gonna build these up now. So we're gonna start with tomato sauce on, on the bases of our pizzas. Just gonna spread that around so like you would do a a pizza. You might need quite a lot to put on them if you have big ones. You don't want to make them too wet. This is yeah. the, the key thing. You just want a light coating. Just add our tomato sauce here. Just give that a little move around. Try not to get anything on your counter or your board, whatever you're doing it on. Because this stuff is really messy. Need a bit more of this little engrossment. Yeah, that's a lot of tomato sauce in there. Oops. <laughs> that can be your one. No, yeah, not that one. You can have this one that you messed up. So there we go. So just like you would build a pizza anywhere else. A bit more on that one. That in the sink to wash up. So then what you want to do here, what I would advise personally, just to build up the layers of, layers of flavour, is your mixed herbs, just a little sprinkle. Yeah, just a little pinch and then sprinkle it all over your food. So we're trying to avoid salt, we're just trying to add flavour with our nice herbs and spices. And then you can just build your pizza as you want. So you don't want to go too thick on the ingredients, because um, these are quick cooked. Then you have to put cheese on first. No, after. So onion. On these ones just pre-dice these up you can cut them how you think try and keep them quite thin you don't want anything too chunky because you do want it to cook so we're gonna lay and that's how to sneeze properly into the crevice of your elbow as advised by the government here comes here comes a little criminal take your wellies off <laughs> She's a crazy little poo head. So we're going to just pop the onion on. Really fun to do with your kids. It gets your kids involved. Um, they can obviously design their own pizza. And it's fun to on lockdown because you don't have to go to school. Just a sprinkle of a little bit of red pepper and all as well. Take your wellies off. Daddy. Take your wellies off, Charlie. Take your wellies off and then you can come into the video. Why are you putting so much on it? Why are you putting massive chunks in the middle? Move the ham around. 
and then I'm going to just put a couple of pieces of courgette. So you want to preheat your oven to about 200 degrees because we, we want to we want to get these cooking really quickly um, and that's why it's important as well to cut your vegetables quite thin. Yeah, you put a big blob of mushroom in the middle. And you want to There's put my these pizza. <laughs> on, your, on your baking tray. You want to get these. That's a mushroom one. That's a mushroom one. Get Not... these all laid up. A couple of bits of mushrooms. I'm going to help him do this bit. This is going to be Charlie's. Actually, you know, so Charlie you can use sweet corn, you could use peas, Charlie doesn't... Um, yes. onions, peppers. Put that one in the bin, please, Mia. Don't put that. Don't put any mushroom on the middle one, because Charlie doesn't like mushrooms. And then, just going to sprinkle with a bit of ham. Ham. I love it. <laughs> oh, God, and it's trying to keep the layer thin, because it's a quick cook. We don't want to overcook the pita breads and make them too crispy. Um, Otherwise you'd have a bad pizza. I think I had the most ham. <laughs> and then... Oh! Jeez! You just want to break your mozzarella over a few pieces. Monstalella. If you haven't got mozzarella, cheddar will work just fine. Just grate some grated cheddar over the top. Uh, so we're just lucky that just any type we like of mozzarella. Can really it's something work. that we have. Any type of cheese can really work. Put that on. This is going to be the tastiest, cheesiest pizza in the world. <laughs> And the reason that I love pizza is because I have Italian um, lessons at my school. But I'm really sad that they lock, but my school got locked down. Because I really like Italian. But you've got new teachers at home now, Mia. And then because we're <laughs> extra greedy, and I like cheese, we're just going to add a little bit of grated cheddar on top of that as well. Mozzarella is quite mild. So this, this cheddar will just add a nice little boost of flavour. Get on my pizza. Just a little sprinkle. So we're almost using the grated cheddar as a bit of seasoning. <laughs> I'm taking all the mozzarella. So. Right, give my hands a quick wash. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get some we still have some more to And then on. again, just on the top, we're gonna do a few more mixed herbs. Can I use some? Just to finish off. So any vegetable, any meats, if you're a vegetarian or uh, you don't eat ham, Pretty you can use chicken, can you could put tuna, um, you could put parma ham, anything, or it could just be a veggie pizza. So we're going to pop these it's in the oven uh, for about eight to ten minutes, just keep checking on them. We just want the cheese to start melting on the top um, and, and we'll everything start cooking minute. down and we'll see you on the other side. So there we go, these have literally just had 8 minutes at 200 degrees near the top of the oven and you have some pita pizzas that are a perfect light healthy snack. So we're going to let these cool off just a little bit so we don't burn our mouths and then um, we'll have a try, let you know how it's going and um, yeah, we'll see you on the other side again. And we'll see if it tastes good. Right yo. So um, here's our pizzas. These have cooled down for about five minutes just to take the edge off the cheese so it's not molten. So I'm gonna cut these into some smaller pieces so they're easier to handle. I'm really excited to taste these. We worked and then, so hard Because this is a daddy one, I don't need small finger pieces, I'm a big boy. <laughs> and we'll have a try. I've got a tiny piece. Chin chin. Mm, very nice. So it's lovely. Really stimulates a pizza. Um, a fraction of the cost. Nice and healthy, full of vegetables. What more can you want? Get the kids involved. Making something fun. And get them to have some more vegetables as part of their one of their five a day. Um, I'm sure Mia's happy with that. You happy? Yep. Yeah. And there's one for mummy. There's one for the baby. And then a couple of spare. These are also great if you let them go cold, put them in the fridge. They're a great snack just to eat cold as well. Um, say bursting with flavour and tasting super. So thanks for joining us again on uh, Lockdown Cooking with Dave and Mia. 
And um, we'll see you on our next Thank video. You, Sammy. <laughs> Say bye, Mia. Bye.